Hey, this is Presh Talwalkar. This problem involves three cards. One card is blue on both sides, another card is red on both sides, and the last is red on one side and blue on the other. I place the three cards in a bag and I randomly grab one of the cards. Without looking at the colors on the card, I place the card on the table. I then let go and I see that the face upside, the side that's showing, is blue. The question is what's the probability the face down side, the other side of the card, is also blue? Give this problem a try and when you're ready keep watching the video for the solution. This is a counterintuitive probability problem. The answer is not one half. The reason is there are three equally likely ways to pick a card and a side to show a blue side. One of the ways you can show a blue side is if you pick the red-blue card and you show the blue side. Another case is if you pick the blue-blue card and you show one of its sides, and a final way is if you pick the blue-blue card and you show its other side. If you had picked the red-blue card, then the other side of the card would be red. But in the other two cases, the other side would be blue. Therefore, in two out of the three cases, the other side of the card is actually blue. And therefore, the probability the other side is blue is two-thirds. Intuitively, this is because if you picked a card and you saw that one of its sides, which was picked at random, is blue, it's actually more likely that you pick the blue-blue card. It's two times more likely you pick the blue-blue card than you pick the red-blue card. Now to show why this is the case, let's do a simulation. We'll get started by writing out the cards in the problem. One card is blue on both sides, another card is red on both sides, and the final card is red on one side and blue on the other side. Those three cards are put into a bag and I pick a random card. I then place that card on the table and I show a random side of that card. In this simulation, in order to do that, we're going to want to know the probability of the random card we pick has a blue side. From the random side which is showing, we care about only the cases in which the side showing is blue. And then we care about if it's blue, we want to know is the other side also blue. So we want to calculate the probability that the other side is blue given that we know that one of the sides showing is blue. So we want to keep track of the number of trials in which one of the sides is blue, and then we want to keep track of the number of trials in which the other side is blue. So to get started with the simulation, we want to pick a random card from the three cards. There are many different ways to do this, but I'll just show you one way. I'll first associate a random number between 0 and 1 to each of the cards. As I do each trial, these random numbers are going to change. The highest random number can be thought of as the first card in the deck, the next highest as the next card in the deck, and the lowest as the lowest card in the deck. To pick a random card, I'm going to start out by thinking about taking these three cards, and then I'm going to pick the rank of this random number relative to the other random numbers. So it's basically like I'm shuffling the cards in a deck, and then I'm picking one of the cards at random. As I'm going to use this formula to copy it down, I'm just going to put some absolute references on the cards. So each time I do a trial, we're going to be picking a different random card. Now I need to pick a random side of that card. So it'll help to actually calculate the probability that one of the sides of the cards is blue. So if the card is equal to blue blue, then clearly the probability of a blue side is equal to 1. If the card is equal to red-blue, then the probability is 50% because there's a 50% chance of red or blue. And if it's not blue-blue or it's not red-red, then we must be, sorry, if it's not blue-blue or red-blue, then we must be in the red-red case. So then there will be a 0% chance of having a blue side. So we can pick a random side of the card based on this probability that we have a blue side. 
So if a random number I generate is less than this probability, I'm going to say the card is blue and otherwise the card is red. So each time I do a trial, this is going to give me a, car, a random side of this random card that I picked. So now let's get to the part about the side showing is blue and then considering if the other side is blue. So we only care about cases in which this is equal to blue. In that case, I'm going to have an indicator variable of one, an indicator of one, and otherwise I'm going to put zero. And finally, the other side will be blue only if the random card we selected is equal to blue blue. So let me copy these formulas down and we'll have a few trials. So I'll explain how this works. So let's consider the first trial. Here we've selected the red blue card. There's a 50% chance we show red and 50% chance we show blue. It happened in this trial that we showed a blue side. So the side showing was blue, we're gonna count this trial, but the other side is not blue. In the next trial, we picked a red red card, which we're just gonna exclude because we didn't even show this one of the sides as blue. This would never have happened. This happened in the next trial. In the next trial after that, the fourth trial, we picked a blue blue card. So we're gonna show a blue side and the other side is gonna be blue. In this trial, we picked a red blue card, but the side showing was red. So this does not actually correspond to the problem that we showed one of the sides showing was blue. So we're not even gonna count this trial at all. We're only gonna count trials in which we see one of the blue sides is showing and then consider whether the other side is blue. So let's go ahead and copy this down about 10,000 times and count the number of times in which we have a side showing which is blue and we'll count the number of times in which the other side is also blue. So I'll simulate this by copying down this formula. Now the spreadsheet will calculate all of these variables. So let's count the number of times in which one of the sides is blue. That'll be column G. So this is 5,000. It's about 50% of the trials, 5,000 out of 10,000. That's actually what we expect. And now we wanna know the number of times that the other side is blue. So that'll be column H. So now we wanna calculate the ratio that the other side is blue to seeing that one of the sides is blue. And as you can see, this is very close to our theoretical probability calculation of two thirds. So it is true that if you pick a random card you show one of the sides at random, you see that it's blue, the probability that the other side is blue will be two thirds. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on math and game theory. You can catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions, which you can follow on Facebook, Google Plus, and Patreon. You can catch me on social media at Prush Talwalker. And if you like this video, please check out my books. There are links in the video description.